Where'd my cap go? Oh. Yeah, usually usually my my algebra two classes would pick that up for me. I would have if it would have stopped, but it went all the way under the deck. Mm -hmm. All right, so in this example, uh, what they're asking us to do is eliminate the parameter and then to not only eliminate the parameter, but then to identify what the graph um, would look like. So if you guys remember that basically we're looking for a rectangular equation that's not going to have our parameter t as our variable. So basically the kind of steps that you like to do is usually, unless it gave you the hint, which was on you know, number 15, I believe, where they tell you to solve using the other equation. Um, previously, usually it's the easiest to eliminate the parameter by solving for t into x and then plugging that into the equation of y because usually we have identified the, what the graph would look like with y equals, right? So what first thing you're going to do is just solve for t. So that's your first step. So you have x minus 2 equals negative 3t divided by negative 3. Um, usually we'd like to write this um, as a, is that just the wind outside? OK, so you guys can see that it can be written at like in this form. Does everybody kind of see that? Then all we simply do is we plug the value of t back into our equation y and then simplify. So I have y equals 5 plus, well, rather than plugging t, I'm going to plug in what it's equal to, which is a negative 1 third x minus 2. Now I can distribute. So I can simplify. Um, let's see, that's going to be plus 15 over 3 plus 2 thirds. Well, that's a, oh yeah. Right. So therefore, then that would be 17 over 3. So now that is my equation without my parameter t. So I have eliminated my parameter t. And then I just need to identify what graph would this create. And this would produce a line. Yes? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. And you do the math would be the same thing. It's just because in the format y equals mx plus b. Yep. OK, anybody have any questions?